What's up Foundation Nation? Today we have a very special disc review. Today we're taking a look at the Discraft Venom. This is unreleased at this point. Uh, we were able to get our hands on one of the test flight runs of this disc. This is a disc that has been retooled. You may have heard of the Venom before from Discraft, seen it in the Ledgestone runs, but they've retooled it. From what I've heard, the goal was to basically make a really overstable distance driver, potentially more overstable than the Force even. Uh, this is something that when I talked to Anthony Barella, he said that he's been loving it. This has been like his favorite disc. And the rumor is that this could be his Tour Series disc as well, potentially, so. Yeah, we're gonna see how stable it really is. See if it's useful for guys like me. Let's just, we're gonna, just gonna give it a rip on the back end. Just kind of throw it flat, see what it does. Okay, yeah, pretty much what I would expect. I gave it even maybe a little bit of Anheuser and it didn't turn, just fought out of it and faded pretty hard. So we're gonna definitely have to test the limits on this, see how stable it can be. So the Venom, look to be quite overstable. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a hyzer to see if it will push at all with the hyzer or if it's just gonna bite immediately uh, and see if this disc, like it has some dome to it, so I assume it'll glide a little bit. I'm just interested to see if I can throw it hard enough on hyzer to get it to fly very far at all. All right, so here's the thing. The disc has glide to it, like that hyzer, I threw it a little bit lower, but like I had plenty of hyzer on it and it still pushed forward while fading. It's not like some kind of firebird where it's immediately cutting left out of my hand. It certainly seems reliable, but I sense there's a little bit of glide there. I'm kind of interested. I'm gonna give it a lot of ante on the next one and see if I can get a flex out of it because it seems to have some glide. I think that this Venom has more glide than I was expecting. I thought it was just gonna just be crazy overstable just dump out of my hand. I'm not really seeing that, at least in this test flight one that we have, we only have one to look at. I feel like if I give it some good height ante, it might be like a bomb flex disc. So I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. Oh, I just blocked it, never mind. Let's try that again, although notably it panned out of that somehow. All right, let's give that ante flex line that we're trying here. There we go. Okay. I don't know where that, oh, there, there it is. There she is. So I was, I gotta admit, when I threw the first couple shots, I was seeing more glide than I expected out of a disc that was like supposed to be really overstable. And I was kind of nervous that if I gave it a good throw on Annie, that it would turn more than I'd want out of a disc in that slot. However, it started to S, but it was a pretty brief S before fading at the end. So I, I'm seeing plenty of reliability here in the Venom. So I, I, it's not what I feared. Uh, it does seem to be just as overstable as I thought, which means that it's actually even cooler because if you have a disc like that, where you have some glide and the overstability, it allows for a lot more people to get used out of that disc. It also just allows for some really cool shot shapes and distance throws. So we're gonna throw it on forehand and then wrap it up. All right, just gonna check out the forehand here at the Venom because I think that's one of the main uses for an overstable distance driver. Yeah, plenty of overstability there. I ripped hard and low on that on Anheuser. It fought out of it, skipped back to the right. The Venom's a fantastic disc. I gotta say, I, I'm really a big fan. Um, when I first threw it, I had that initial thought of like, hmm, that seemed to have a little more glide than I would expect. I wonder if this is gonna be a reliable disc. Um, it's very comfortable in the hand, has some good dome to it as well. I've kind of proven, and I think I've seen today for myself at least, that even if you do give it those lines where you're asking it to be overstable, because you know obviously on Heiser you're not really worried about it, but even when I was giving it that Anheuser, it was still fighting out with plenty of confidence. I didn't feel like, ooh, with the right headwind that might fail on me. So I'm a very big fan of the Venom. I'm really excited for the full release of this disc, but I've got some great news. If you wanna get your hands on that exact test flight Venom that I've just been throwing around, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So the instructions to enter that giveaway are as follows. If you want to enter the giveaway for this Venom, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel right here, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and leave a comment down below asking for the Venom, saying that you want the Venom, and then we will be picking somebody that meets all those criteria and giving it out. So you'll be able to get your hands on a test flight Venom, pretty rare disc, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it'll be all yours. So make sure to follow all those if you want to win the Venom. Other than that, that's all we got for today. We'll see you next time with another disc review.